We are excited to introduce you to a new application that streamlines creation of breast ultrasound reports. Based on a study we performed at the University of British Columbia, this program significantly increases the accuracy, consistency, clarity, and readability of breast ultrasound reports. To begin, select the New Patient button. This will erase all the data from the prior patient, leaving a fresh blank worksheet for your next patient. Enter in the patient's general information. This can also be populated automatically by a work list from the RIS. Select the examination side. In this next step, you will record any prior imaging the patient has had. Suppose the patient has had a mammogram. Select mammogram, then enter the location of the prior study. After that, select the date of the prior study. The window at the bottom will automatically be populated with a structured report that can be edited. Next you will record the scope of the examination. If it is a general survey of the breast, click on the word survey. If it is a targeted study, click on the word targeted, then choose the appropriate quadrants, axilla, and retroareolar regions. If it doesn't fit into one of these areas, click on the custom button to type in the specific location that you examined. Next you will record the background echo texture of the breast. Using the BIRADS criteria, click on the appropriate descriptor. You also have the option of selecting multi-cystic if the patient has many cysts. In this next step, you will describe the location of any masses that are present. Let's assume that there are two masses relevant in this study. Click the number one to indicate the location of number one mass, and then click the number two to move the mass to where it's located. As you do this, this will change the clock face and the distance from the nipple in the report. Let's assume that the first of the two masses is a simple cyst. An easy way to record this information is to select the simple cyst icon here. Now enter in the dimensions for this particular cyst. Now let's describe the second mass. Let's say that it has an irregular shape, that its orientation is not parallel, that it has an echogenic halo. We'll enter in the dimensions. Next we'll say that the margin is not circumscribed. Let's say that it's spiculated and that there is shadowing and that the mass is hypoechoic. There are no surrounding tissue abnormalities that we'll record for this. Once you've chosen the appropriate descriptors, the structured report will be created in this window. You can review it, and of course you can always edit it if you like. For vascularity, select one of the descriptors. For mass number two, let's say that there was vascularity present in the mass. For mass number one, which we thought was a simple cyst, the default descriptor is not present. Describing calcifications is optional. Choose all that apply. Describing special cases is also optional. Again, choose all that apply for each mass. All information thus far has been entered by the technologist. The technologist's worksheet can now be printed as a preliminary report. Or the radiologists might want to add their impression at this point. This is the only information the radiologist must enter. Select the radiologist's name from the drop-down menu. Enter the password, and then enter the final impression and recommendation, either by typing or voice recognition. Then select the appropriate BIRADS category. The Auto Diagram button will automatically create a schematic drawing of the lesions. You can edit the drawing by clicking and dragging on the lesion. When you are happy with the changes, click OK. The Auto Findings button will automatically create a structured report based on the selected descriptors. The radiologist can still edit the report at this point. This template can be customized to include the institution's logo and address plus the radiologist's signature.
Now that the report is completed, use the Print Preview button to save and print the report. The report can be saved as a PDF file to the RIS, distributed electronically to the referring physicians, faxed, or printed as a hard copy.